If we zoom in on the small intestine, which for reasons we've elaborated on ad nauseum in the past, is probably the most important area of the gut since you absorb 90 to 95% of calories there. This is where you have the most opportunity and the most leaky gut that can occur, the most immune activation, the most gut receptors. It's really the most important area of the gut, not to say the other areas are not important, but again, nutrient absorption, immune regulation are predominantly occurring here. So acromantia here represents less than 0.5% of the microbiome. And then comparatively, lactobacillus represents 6% of the small intestinal microbiome. So to say it's a major regulator, maybe, but I think it's a bit of a stretch. And if someone were to hear that claim, they might think, oh, well, if, it, if it's a major regulator, it's got to be better than the other probiotic that I'm currently taking that might contain lactobacillus and bifidobacterium. And when we represent it as such, I, I think it's more correct to say it's a part. I wouldn't say it's a major part.